Hey guys, what's up? I'm Erica. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be talking about what it was like having a Doberman in an apartment and just like apartment living with a big dog. David got a Doberman back at the beginning of 2020 who is now our dog Pebbles and if you've watched my previous videos we have now moved into a house um, but for a little over a year we did have Pebbles in an apartment. We'd already known that Dobermans um, are very much like family dogs, they're people dogs, they want to be close to their humans and um, they like to know where they are all the time. We've moved into a bigger house now, a bigger space and hi Pebbles! And you know, even though it's bigger, she still follows us around more frequently now, but used to rarely, you know, be by herself or alone whenever we were home. David didn't get her until she was about five months old because David's dad had actually bred um, her litter of puppies. And so David's dad held on to her because um, David knew that he did want her. So she was like a little bit older than I feel like most people bring puppies home at. She was a little bit easier to be trained, like potty trained and... It wasn't that bad. It was. It was bad. She was not potty trained. Yeah, she wasn't potty trained at all. When five months. So when we initially got her, we crate trained her during the day when we were off at work. She was in the crate. And luckily, um, moving to this apartment with her was also much, much closer to my work. Um, we're talking like five minutes down the street from my work. So it made things high yeah, boys. Come home for lunch. I would clean the poop out of her crate, the pee out of her crate. I did that every day during lunch. I would do it when I got home from work. But eventually, she got the hang of it. Um, Within like a month, she was potty trained. Yeah, I'd say four or five weeks. It was at first definitely a challenge getting her used to um, a regular schedule, which is really what puppies need. They need a schedule. They need to know when they're going to be outside. Um, without having a yard, it made things so much more difficult. Um, but not impossible. And I think without having that yard and easy access, um, it did make it take longer than it would had we had a yard. One of the things that we started to utilize too were the bells that you'd put around the doorknob. Um, it took zero training to get her to learn how to use the doorbells. Um, yeah, she just figured it out herself. She'd just go up and ring them you know, if it, she wanted to they go would, out. They would ring every time we'd open and close the door anyways, and I think she just very quickly, like in a day, like caught on, like, oh, when the bells go, that means the door is going to move. Um, so she got the hang of that. She did start to abuse it. Um, she would certainly, you know, ring them when she didn't really need to. One of the really big things that David, I think, did a really good job at was because she is a bigger dog, she didn't just need walks. She needed, like, off-leash running around playtime, which obviously we weren't able to do at home. Um, so there was a dog park not too far from us and David, we pretty much would go there every single day. Pretty Sometimes much David, twice a day. Yeah, David yeah. really took her, um, because I don't know, David has always said, and most of the time she's pretty good, but I think she's pretty good because she's tired a lot of the time. David's very good at exercising her because obviously with most dogs, if they're not exercised, they're not going to be great. And especially because she is a bigger dog, they can obviously cause more destruction <laughs> at home than like a little dog, yeah. Everyone's dog is different and they all require a different amount of exercise, um, but it's certainly a Doberman, just an athletic breed, and being a big breed, they have lots of energy. She certainly acts differently when she doesn't get enough activity. One of the tools that really helped us gauge that um, is one of those collars that tracks their steps, not just their distance, um, but her steps as well. Ours is called the Phi. Pretty sure there's a couple options now, but um, I would recommend anything that counts the steps specifically because it gives you an idea of how much activity they're getting rather than just the distance. Um, sometimes we play a lot in the yard and she's not getting very far, but she's using, you know, taking a lot more steps than she would be. It's a good way to gauge how much activity she's getting. There's a difference between when she's getting 25,000 steps and 35,000 steps. It's night and day with her. Yeah, and also it's good because if we're out, you can check to see like if she's walking, then we know like, oh, she's up. But if we've been out for like four hours and we check her thing and she has zero stops, we're like, oh, she's just been sleeping the whole time that we're gone. That is definitely super helpful. Also, soon after, like three or four months into when David had her, he ended up quitting the job that he had and started at a new job. And um, that job was further away from home. So he started doing um, walkers three days a week just through... What is that, Rover? 
rubber um and that worked pretty well just to like let her outside and stuff and then also there was this kind of local company that we still use now that we're in our house that takes them out to this big field and they would come twice a week um it is a little bit all of this was kind of expensive i mean david handled all of it yeah. um but she we call it camp they pick them up around like 8 30 she gets dropped off between like 2 30 and 3 30 and they go to like half moon bay if you know that area in california and they have this big field and a bunch of dogs just go run around and play so it makes us feel like a little bit less guilty during the day that she's just not like alone and sad all day but also now that we do live in the house she doesn't have her walkers she either goes to camp twice a week or the other days we've had a lot of stuff going on at our house and there's like a lot of times people will be here and stuff and she's actually she's fine to be home by herself all day but her going to camp is definitely nice because on those days we feel like i know even though david really takes care of pebbles i will sometimes feel like stressed when i know that like no one's been there and she's gonna have all this energy and that you know she woke up went on a walk with David and then like we all went to work all day so it's nice just to like come home and she's been out all day and kind of tired. She was also pretty good with not um, chewing on stuff. She did chew on like some of the legs of the couch that David had but beyond that I think that was the only thing well she she so did chew up some remotes. pillows yeah like pillows remotes a few but really not as bad as I feel like a lot of dogs can be. He gets a bark box every single month and even though it's fun, she literally tears apart those toys within 10 minutes. So they're not the best high quality toys. And it has been hard to find any toy that she can't tear yeah. apart. But it's fun to get the variety. Yeah. To get something that she knows, now she knows, like she can just absolutely go after it. And I think that that kind of helps stimulate her mentally. I really focus on getting her physically tired, but mentally tired was like, something I hadn't necessarily considered before. You know, doing training, um, trying to do small activities that would engage her, wrap a toy up in a blanket, um, get one of those puzzle toys, things like that. One of the things that I'm recently doing a lot more of the last couple of days is putting treats around the house, um, around the yard, just to kind of get her sniffing around, get her thinking. And I can really only speak to her, but I would say that some might be afraid of apartments and thinking that because Dobermans are such big dogs that they're not gonna do well there. Like they're gonna be louder, bigger, just, you know, take up more space. But there was another smaller dog in the building and I felt like that the smaller dog probably barked more than Pebbles, even though obviously Pebbles had a much louder bark and she did sometimes bark and cry. But sometimes I think that bigger dogs are less reactive and less like, barky than smaller dogs i feel like that a lot of people would just think oh like a small dog will be better for like such a small apartment and make less noise but i don't know if that's necessarily true and i don't know if all dobermans are like that obviously every dog is different we lucked out with our dog and and her personality and how wonderful she is um, yeah she really is a sweetheart and the biggest takeaway is with the apartment is you have to go out of your way and make a true effort to give them enough activity because they're certainly not going to get it inside inside you know now that we have a yard it's different because we can go throw the ball or whatever toy in the yard with her um she's got more space in that aspect but in the apartment you got to make a nice conscious effort so if you guys want to know more about her or what it was like to have a doberman um obviously we are not professionals dog trainers or expertise at anything it's just, just this is just our experience uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video